Okay, this could be number three from the 2008 Form B, Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Um, and it's kind of about, it's like a table problem. Um, it's about a river, and uh, let's see what we can do. So we're told uh, that a scientist measures the depth of a river at certain points. The river is 24 feet wide at this location. Measurements are taken in a straight line perpendicular to the edge of the river. Um, we have this data table that you can see. Um, and then the velocity at this particular point in feet per minute is modeled by V of T. So we don't need that for part A. So uh, the first part says use a trapezoidal sum with four sub intervals indicated by the data to approximate the area of the cross section in square feet. Show the computations that lead to your answer. All right, so in my experience, people have trouble understanding this particular question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to like draw it out a little bit. So this is kind of the width of the river, right? So that's the top of the river. And then what the scientists did was um, at each of those, so like if you start at zero, that's one side of the river, 24 is the other side of the river. At each of those numbers, uh, the scientists just measured the depth of the river. So the river is going to go down like this. And then from the table, you can see at zero, you're at zero. And then when you're eight feet from that edge, the depth is seven, then when you're 14 feet, the depth is eight, then at 22 feet, it's two, and then back at 24, you'll be at zero again. So kind of plot those points. And so what you're doing is you're looking at like a cross section of the river, um, and the river might look something like this. I mean, it might look like anything, right? Because we only know certain specific points. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a trapezoidal sum to approximate the area of that region that I just drew. So to do that, I'm gonna say the area is approximately, um, so trapezoid, so it's one half, and then uh, the height is gonna be from zero to eight, so that's eight, and then some of the bases is seven, and uh, from there we're just gonna kinda keep going through, so plus one half, and then we'll go from eight to 14 is six, and then uh, some of these bases, which is 15 and one half, we're going from 14 to 22, which gives us eight, and the sum of the bases is gonna be 10. And then finally, uh, one half, two, and then the sum of the bases is two. And so we actually, so typically you could just leave that, but actually you're gonna need it in the next part, so I'm definitely adding those up to get 115 square feet. Um, and that is part A. So I'm gonna uh, bring that answer with me and do part B. So part B defines a thing for you. This is a pretty common thing on the AP exam where they're gonna define something and you have to use it. So volumetric flow at a location along the river is the product of the cross-sectional area, which is what we just calculated was the cross-sectional area, um, and the velocity of the water at the location. Uh, use your approximation from part A to estimate the average value of the volumetric flow um, in cubic feet per minute from zero to 120 minutes. So one thing, a lot of people find this particular problem confusing because there's a lot of stuff in it, um, but the problem really walks you through what you need to do, right? They're telling you, um, you're gonna need to find the product of cross-sectional area, which they tell you you found in part A, um, and the velocity. Velocity is a function that was given. So volumetric flow, product of area, which we calculated, and uh, velocity. And then velocity is given in the problem. Uh, it's 16 plus two sine of root t plus 10. Um, so then I'm gonna create a function, I'm just gonna call it uh, f. So f is the area 115 times the velocity v of t. Uh, so now what I'm asked to find, so that is my, my function for flow. Um, I'm asked to find the uh, average value of this function from t equals zero to t equals 120. So average value of the flow, so average flow, is the integral divided by the interval. So it's gonna be the integral from zero to 120 of f of t, because f is a function of t, right? Because area is a constant, um, velocity is a function of t, divided by 120 minus zero. So integral divided by interval, and then uh, this is definitely a calculator thing. So I just stored the function, I typed it in, I got that. I'm gonna write my answer to three decimal places. So 1807.170. Um, and that's our answer. They tell you in the problem that the units of this are cubic feet per minute. So I'm gonna label it. Um, 
All right, and that's part B. Let's take a look at part C. So uh, part C says, uh, the scientist proposes the function f given by f of x equals 8 sine of pi x over 24 as a model for the depth of the water. So this is interesting because that table that we had um, before was telling us about the depth of the water. Find the area of the cross section based on this model. All right, so um, this is our depth. And if you remember from part A, that was depth. And we did part A by approximating it with trapezoids. This is really just part A again, except now we're going to actually um, use a, a definite integral instead of approximating it. So uh, the area that we find is just going to be the integral from 0 to 24, right, the start of the river to the end of the river, of the depth function. So f of x dx, function of x, um, calculator again. So uh, just store the function, do the integral. Uh, I got an exact value, but it was ugly. So, And I always prefer to use decimals on the AP exam. Uh, I think I'm less likely to make mistakes just copying uh, digits rather than like weird things down. Um, so cross-sectional area should be in feet squared. Um, and we're good. All right. So the next part is almost part B again. So recall that volumetric flow is the product of cross-sectional area and velocity. So I now had to rename my function uh, VF because they named a function F in the previous part, and that's kind of weird. So VF is area times velocity. Um, to prevent flooding, water must be diverted if the average value of the volumetric flow um, exceeds 2100 cubic feet per minute for a 20 minute period. So we don't need to deal with that just yet. Use your answer from part C, find the average value of volumetric flow during the time interval from 40 to 60. Okay, so first thing I need is that average value. So my function, copying my answer previously, will just be 122.231 times V of T. I have to find the average value on 40 to 60. So the average value is the integral from 40 to 60 of V vf of t dt divided by 60 minus 40. Uh, so that's approximately this calculator thing. So I punched in, I got 2181.913. And I know that that's in cubic feet per minute. And now the problem said that if the average value on any 20 minute period exceeds 2100, water will have to be diverted. And the question is, do we have to divert water? So I'm gonna say that, yeah, I mean, on that 20 minute period, uh, it's greater than 2100, so we should be diverting. So I'm just going to write that down. You can read what it says. Um, so since the average volumetric flow on 40 to 60 is greater than 2100, the water should be diverted. Um, all right, and that's it. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.